I have several videos that cover how to set up a Synology NAS as a VPN server, but you can also set up your Synology NAS as a VPN client as well. It's easy to do and I'll go through the steps on how to do that in this video. To set up a VPN client, you will need to subscribe to a VPN service provider and for this video I'll be using private internet access, which I've used for a few years on my devices with great results. If you're looking for a VPN service provider, I'd highly recommend private internet access and I have an affiliate link in the description below if you'd like to sign up for the service and support this channel as well. Before going through the setup process, I'd like to cover what the benefits are of setting up a Synology NAS as a VPN client. For one, you can hide your IP address and change your virtual location to overcome geo restrictions. Another benefit is you'll be able to hide your internet traffic from your ISP that may collect your browsing data and may either throttle your connection speed or censor your content. Lastly, if you use a VPN service provider like Private Internet Access, your online activities won't be logged so you can feel more protected and anonymous while on the internet. Now let's get to setting up a Synology NAS as a VPN client using Private Internet Access. The first thing to do is download Private Internet Access's OpenVPN zip file, which I'll link to in the description below. I've already downloaded the file, so I'll extract the archive and we can see that it contains various configuration files that allow you to connect to several countries and regions. With the Private Internet Access OpenVPN archive extracted, now I'll head into DSM, bring up Control Panel, then open Network and select Network Interface. Here I'll select Create VPN Profile, select OpenVPN as the VPN connection method, and click Next. Now I'll enter in a profile name along with my private internet access username and password. Import in the OpenVPN file that I'd like to use for this video, which will be the US New York configuration file. Import the CA certificate file that was included with the OpenVPN archive. Click Advanced Options and then import the client revocation list, which was also included in the OpenVPN archive, and click Next. Under Advanced Settings, we have the options to use Default Gateway on Remote Network, which routes all the network traffic on the Synology NAS through the VPN. Allow other network devices to connect through this Synology server's internet connection which allows devices within the same LAN as the Synology NAS to use the VPN connection and reconnect when the VPN connection is lost, which basically attempts to reestablish the connection with the VPN if it goes down for some reason. For this video, I'll enable both the Use Default Gateway on Remote Network and allow other network devices to connect through this Synology server's internet connection and click Done. We'll go over what these two settings do as well as run some tests to make sure things are working properly next. To see what the option to use default gateway on remote network does, I'd like to use the command line. So I'll enable the SSH service by selecting terminal and SNMP and enable the SSH service and click apply and then OK on this warning window. Now I'll bring up a terminal session on my MacBook SSH into the Synology NAS and issue the traceroute command without the VPN connection established. Here we can see the hops that the traceroute command takes using my default configuration which clearly displays my ISP's routers in the output of the command. I'll switch back to DSM and go to Network then Network Interfaces and switch on the VPN Client Connection by selecting the Private Internet Access VPN Connection and click Connect. Now back in the terminal, I'll rerun the traceroute command and we now see the hops while connected to the VPN connection, which shows some New York routers indicating that the VPN is working as expected. For the option, allow other network devices to connect through this Synology server's internet connection, I'll set up my MacBook to demonstrate how it works. I'll reconnect the VPN client connection to make sure the Synology NAS is all set up. Then back on my MacBook, I'll exit out of the SSH connection to my Synology NAS and issue the traceroute command directly from my MacBook, which displays my ISP's routes once again. 
Now I'll adjust my network settings to make use of the VPN connection on my Synology NAS by manually assigning the IP address, which I'll keep the same as what I got when connected through DHCP. Change the router IP address to the IP address of my Synology NAS, which in my case is 192.168.1.52, essentially making the Synology NAS and its VPN connection the default gateway and assign a DNS server which I'll set to 1.1.1.1 which is Cloudflare's public DNS server, then click OK and apply to finalize the changes. Now I'll run the traceroute command again and we see the hops have changed to the VPN connection like we saw earlier confirming that my MacBook is using the VPN connection provided through my Synology NAS. Hopefully this video helped you in understanding and setting up your Synology NAS as a VPN client and if it did, make sure to like this video. Also check out some of my other videos listed here on screen as well. Lastly, consider subscribing to this channel if you enjoy this type of content and if you'd like to support my work, consider buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.